Hey, what's up everybody? Dylan here from Iceberg TV. On yesterday's video, I reviewed the Neutron Soft proxy. I also reviewed the Eclipse 2.0 proxy. One correction that I wanna make um, before I even get into today's video is these are actually Marmoset stamps. I said they were Skullboy stamps. They're actually Marmoset stamps. So I just wanted to clarify that just because I made a mistake in the last video, I wanted to confirm that. So this, and then the Tattooster Marmoset, not Skullboy. So my bad for that. But someone commented something that really made me think for a second. They said, I'll put the comment up on the screen, that basically the proxy and the envy are the same mold, but they just have two different sized face plates. So they're like, how can the proxy feel good in your hand and the envy feel bad in your hand when they're essentially the same disc? And that is a very good point and a very good question. So I actually wanted to compare the envy to the proxy today. And then I also wanted to compare these guys to the Eclipse Pixel which in my experience has been the most stable pixel I've ever thrown. So I do want to throw the proxies again today, but I want to compare them to the Envy and see my game has evolved a lot over the last year or so. And it's been probably longer than a year since I've thrown an Envy, or at least I definitely haven't thrown an Envy with like my new grip, my new form. I'm just going to go with a backloaded power grip on this instead of a fan grip and just rip on it and see what sort of flight I'm getting with an Envy nowadays, now that I've kind of fixed my form up a bit. We got a 167 Envy, two 172 proxies, and then a 172 pixel. So three 172s and then a 167. Let's throw the proxies first because I know how they fly. And then we'll throw the pixel and then we'll throw the Envy. Yep. <laughs> I can't believe I slept on the proxy as long as I did. These are these are an unbelievable mold. They're so good. What a beautiful flight, man. I don't know why I didn't throw those things. For so many years, I just sort of slept on the proxy. Okay. Wow. I was curious where the Pixel is going to compare to the proxies distance-wise, because the uh, Pixel does carry quite a bit more dome than the proxies. But even though those proxies are so flat, they're still super glidey. So we got a Proton Envy here today. It's got like a tiny amount of dome compared to the um, proxies, but not as much dome as the Pixel. So it's kind of like right in between those discs dome wise. Wow, definitely a lot more flex. And that came out of my hand really nice with a backloaded power grip. So maybe my fan grip was sabotaging my ability to throw the Envy. Let's go gather everything up. I need to throw those a few more times. And if you want to check out some MVP or Axiom discs, I believe Disc Golf Deals USA is the only site that provides a 10% discount on any MVP, Axiom, or Streamline products. Um, that was something we set up extra special for you guys. And if you want to get that discount, just use the link in the description below to access my storefront and you'll get 10% off any disc on the site. And that includes the MVP Axiom and Streamline. So make sure you use the link in the description below to secure your 10% discount. So I believe I threw everything with pretty much a similar amount of power. This is the Eclipse Proxy. And then just a few feet ahead, we have the Pixel here. And then the other two putters, the Envy and the other Proxy, pretty much went the same distance as the Pixel. Let's see as we throw them a little bit harder if we get any changes in the amount of distance we're getting on all these discs. And let's do a quick little side by side by side action here. Um, on the right, we have the proxy. On the left, we have the pixel. You can see we've got quite a different shape going on. The pixel is a lot more domey. I also find the glow pixels to be more domey than the baseline ones. But look how bored flat that proxy is. Now let's switch the pixel with the Envy here. The Envy is going to carry just that little bit of dome you can see because the Envy is just so board flat, almost any other disc is gonna have a little bit more dome here. But this angle where the overmold meets sort of the face plate there, or the um, face of the disc, you just have a little bit of doming going on here. But nothing too crazy, but it's definitely notable that um, the Envy is definitely a little bit more domey than the Proxy. Zoom you guys in a little bit so you can really get a nice view of the flights here. Let's just try and throw everything in the same order here. We'll go with the proxies and then we'll go 
with the pixel and then with the envy but we got the tattoo stir soft neutron proxy which i think of the bunch this one might be my favorite oh get out of there all right we hit the branches and kicked out if you've been watching the channel long enough you know there's water over there you only need to go like eight feet into the woods disc is gone forever glow proxy not my best releases all right then we've got the pixel i really like this one even when i was throwing with a fan grip with it being a little bit deeper, a little bit more domey, still feels really great with a fan grip, but I do definitely want to continue experimenting with a backloaded power grip with all discs, not just my fairways and distance drivers. And I love how stable those uh, Eclipse pixels are. They fly really, really nice. They honestly kind of fly like an Envy for me, if we're being honest. All right, Proton Envy. Just hard and flat, you can see how much more stable the Envy is. Both of those proxies, when thrown hard and flat or on a touch of Anheuser, they're going to get some left to right moving action on them. If you're somebody that plays a lot of short courses, or you just throw a lot of putters in general, or bag a lot of putters, the Pixel, the Proxy, and the Envy would be a really amazing three-disc putter lineup. I feel like for basically any player, you kind of have all three different shot shapes going on here. And then you could get a baseline, uh, proxy for something even a little bit flippier than the premium ones. All right, I want to give everything one last throw. We'll do a little CTP challenge here. We've got the flag right in that golf green there. So we'll throw from here. We'll throw from my bag and we'll see which disc is the most accurate. We got one shot with each disc. I'm only going to throw one proxy instead of two. So we're going to throw the neutron soft. Well, not a great start, not terrible, but not, definitely not good. All right, Pixel. I feel like the Pixel, mentally, because it's domey, I feel like I can just get it to go a little farther. Oh, that's going to be tough to beat. Oh, that's, that's tapping. Okay, so maybe the Pixel is the chosen one. The Envy definitely needs a little bit more flex here. Oh, it's just so stable. Oh, no. If I had the space to throw a hyzer, I feel like the Envy is going to be the winner when it comes to like a dead straight shot. Ah, it's got to be the proxy or the pixel. I lied. I, I got to throw it. It's, it's too fun to try and throw the shot. I can't just have an unthrown disc. There it is. Hit the flag. Oh, that might be closer. All right. We, I got to see which one is closest. Those are some decent shots. All right, I've got the soft proxy right here coming in last place. The official winner was the Pixel, but with a little mulligan shot, absolutely pinned it with the Eclipse proxy. We'll call the Pixel the winner officially, but the unofficial winner was the Glow proxy. All right, so I'm not sure what exactly my deal was with the Envy. I'm gonna go ahead and say it probably was a me problem because once I started throwing it today um, for the first time with a backloaded power grip, so I used to throw the Envy with like a modified fan grip. And I just don't think that this is a grip that's gonna be best for putters like this for me anymore. I'm having a lot more confidence, a lot more pop out of my hand with a backloaded power grip. So putting very little pressure on these two fingers but then putting a lot of pressure on my ring and my pinky finger, getting a lot more clean release out of my throwing putters this way, especially when I'm trying to throw them really hard. Um, so that being said, I feel like I kind of slept on the Envy just like I slept on the Proxy as well. And that's something that I feel like is gonna be relatable for a lot of you guys. As your game continues to evolve and develop and you get better, some discs you may not used to throw very well, you wanna go ahead and revisit those discs and give them a go after like six months or a year of playing you're almost a completely different player. And now that I feel like my game has sort of evolved, I've sort of grown into some of these more 
pro level discs, not needing to throw stuff that's quite as understable, quite as flippy, or perhaps even leaning on things that are super overstable to cover up some mistakes in my form. So that being said, I think I was wrong about the Envy. I was also wrong about the proxies. So the more you know, the more you know you don't know. If you've heard that saying, hit the like button. Anyway, stay humble, live with gratitude. I will see you guys in the next video. Um, a bunch of you guys have been buying these bags, but you haven't been using my coupon code. So for those of you who are buying bags, make sure to save 20% with code ICE20. That's $40 off the V4. So we've sold a ton of bags over the last few weeks, but nobody's using the code. Make sure you use the code. I'll see you guys in the next video and take care.